the 14th U.S. Congressional District of New York and its representative. The 14th U.S. Congressional District of New York In New York State's 14th Congressional District, whites form the majority, followed by other races and Asians. The minorities in the district are the blacks, American Indians and Alaska Natives, mixed races, Native Hawaiians, and other Pacific Islanders. Economically, the average annual income that every household generates is about $80,000. Most dwellers of New York's 14th district are renters because the number of rented houses is twice as many as the owned homes. Literacy level in the region is relatively high with 79.3% of people having high school and post-high school diplomas while 28.2% have college degrees and other higher educational certificates. However, the unemployment rate in the 14th Congressional District of New York City stands at 4.8%. From the demographics and socioeconomic facts, the 14th Congressional District of New York is ethnically diverse and one of the fastest growing within New York State. Educational services, health care, and social assistance facilities are the major employers of most workers in New York's 14th Congressional District. This is a fact that is evidenced by the mentioned sector having over 80,000 workers. Another key employer in the state is the hospitality industry which encompasses performance arts, entertainment, recreational, accommodation, and food services. In fact, the industry comes second with the number of people it has employed standing at about 50,000 employees. By way of real estate development, new business establishments in the sector are also coming into existence. As evidenced by the data from the United States Census Bureau, about 800 establishments were recorded out of an estimated total establishments of 12,000 for all sectors. Also, redevelopments are going on at a speedy rate within the district. For instance, the sector of construction came third in ranking from the numbers of sectors that had the most paid employees. Essentially, the growth of the 14th Congressional District of New York is heavily dependent on the education, health, and construction industries. People of the 14th Congressional District of New York State are concerned with issues such as rising rates of unemployment and crime, and lack of freedom for immigrant workers. The challenges are evident from the bills that the representative has sponsored in the Congress. For example, there is the Bill of Immigrant Worker Freedom Act that sought to provide permanent residency to immigrants who worked in rescuing, recovering, demolition, and hubris collection after the September 11, 2001, terrorist attacks. Another bill has been aimed at extending the duration of unemployment provisions to individuals who were affected by COVID-19 through job losses. Apart from the challenges that the district is grappling with, the region is predominantly liberal. They can be associated with liberalism because of their voting pattern which has been majorly inclined towards Democrats. Non-political organizations that are active in the district are Emerald Isle Immigration Center and diligently serving immigrants among others. Clearly, immigrants' freedom and challenges are the biggest problems and that is why many immigrants' organizations are active in the district. Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez Important Votes and Campaign Funding Contributors there are two votes taken by the representative of the 14th Congressional District of New York State that are crucial in legislation to the constituents. The first vote was on the bill that sought to illegalize the exportation of ancient American items and resources that were not procedurally acquired and provide for the return of such items. The second vote was on the law that approved an extension of the financial year appropriations for federal agencies and institutions and extended the expiry of expiring authorities. On the two bills, Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez voted in support of them. The votes reflect the wishes of the constituents because the constituents would like to have reduced crime rates and constant reception of government services without shutdown. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's election campaign has been funded by donations from some organizations through their members. The monies did not come from individual organizations but from contributions of their respective political action committees or members. Top contributors to the 2022 election campaign for Rep. Alexandria are Alphabet Inc., Universities of Maryland and California, Amazon, the City of New York, Excel Partners, Mount Laurel Catering and Events, and Helpern Architects.
the last organization among the top 10 contributors to the representative's re-election is Microsoft Corporation. By economic sector, the contributions are as follows. Other economic sector has contributed $438,193, communication and electronics sector, $123,512, health, $89,340, finance, insurance and real estate, $72,468, miscellaneous businesses, $67,839, lawyers and lobbyists, $22,528. The other four sectors that are in the best 10 sectors by the number of their contributions are construction with $19,282, transportation, $17,679, agribusiness, $12,373, and labor sector with $10,622. The percentage of the total campaign funding that comes from small individual contributions is 76.54%. Contributions towards campaign funding for the next year's Ocasio-Cortez election are all therefore dependent on all people who believe in her ideologies. Representatives' Convictions and Personal Viewpoint My representative holds a strong opinion about respect for women and abhors any form of abuse against them. In 2020, Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took to the floor of the House to denounce the abuse faced by women in the Congress and entire American nation. Her remarks followed an incident in which she was accosted by the Republican Rep. Ted Yoho on the steps of the Capitol and verbally assaulted. According to the representative, Yoho in the company of another representative put his finger on Alexandria's face and called her names such as crazy, disgusting, and dangerous. She termed Yoho's insults as not only hurting but piercing. In her submission to the House, she pointed out that Yoho's utterances were manifestations of the existent toxic culture of dehumanizing women in the U.S. As evidenced by her submission to Congress, she stands for justice, equality, and respect for people's rights. Representative Alexandria is doing a good job of representing my district in Congress. She has championed the issues affecting the poor people in the 14th Congressional District of New York. This can be seen from the number of bills she has sponsored and co-sponsored with other representatives. For instance, having sponsored an amendment that sought to allow American researchers to examine drugs such as psilocybin to treat sicknesses was a step that showed her commitment to alleviating human suffering through policy intervention. To add on, she co-sponsored an amendment to allow the establishment of a tax credit to boost the take-home of American workers and enhance their financial strength. 